Well, let's see. I went and opened my big mouth and got into just a shitstorm about a fight that is supposedly going to be taking place. Want to hear what your thought is on this, my man? Because Jake Paul is supposedly targeted to fight Mike Tyson in a professional boxing match sometime in June, I believe, in your state, right down the street from where you live. So, first off, do you think it's going to happen? Second off, if it does, are you going? And what do you think about it? Uh, I already bought my tickets. I'm headed straight you there. Suck. I can't wait. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna be there front row watching this whole thing go down. John, rooting for Jake. <laughs> no, I'm not rooting for Jake. <laughs> uh, look, as long as there's no special rules, and I'm I'm hearing a lot of like this. I'm hearing a lot of nonsense. I think a lot of it is fake. There's supposed to be 18 ounce gloves. I'm hearing that there's gonna be headgear. Look, it's a professional fight. You're gonna wear 10 ounce gloves like everybody else. There you go. And you guys are gonna You're try to knock each other's block off. Yeah, if you're above 154 pounds, right, you're wearing 10 ounce gloves. Well, 140 if you're 154, 147, you wear one. 154, you wear another. Yeah, yeah 147 is eight eight ounce, and 154 eight is ounce. 10, and then above. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very so, much. So, as long as there's no special rules, and hey, you can't weigh above this much, you can't weigh below this much. I, I think then if it's a real fight, then it's a real fight. Do I like it? No, I don't like it. But um, I'm not going to say that I'm not interested. Look, any any chance we get an opportunity, and I just said this the other day about guys like Dustin Poirier, Eddie Alvarez, you know, Demetrius Johnson and Gilbert Burns and all these guys, right? The ones that are kind of on their way out. He's been out for a long time, but any chance you get an opportunity you get to watch Mike Tyson fight? I'm sorry. It's must watch. T it's must see TV. I've got to see him fight. He looked good against Roy Jones. I think he's gotten better since Roy Jones. I think he's, uh, he's he looks physically he looks physically better than he did against Roy Jones. No, no. Yes, no. I think so. How does okay? How does a man? Mm -hmm. How many years later? Yeah. We'll say four and a half, five years later. It, yeah. No, that's how it was long in COVID, ago it was. right? Wasn't it? Before, was it after COVID? Yes, it was during COVID. It was in COVID. Yeah. It was during COVID. Yeah. So, how does a man at that age get better? He doesn't. He's Mike. I'm sorry, man. I, I, that, I'm not going to rule see, Mike Tyson on. out for anything. That that right there, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. That it is, and, and I understand it, and I agree with you. And we all have this thing where it doesn't matter about you know anything that we look at that is logical. We put Mike Tyson associated with it, and we go, Mike can do it, Mike. Can do it. My, my, Mike can knock him. Mike's Mikey got Mikey likes it. Mike will eat anything. Mike, exactly. Yes. You know, just like the old life commercial. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, Josh, we, we have hung out and done all kinds of things that we joke all the time about stuff. But even you, at the age of 45, you notice the difference between when you're 45 and 40? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What do you think happens the older you get? I mean, for him, it looks like he feels better. <laughs> I, I'm, obviously you guys can hear it, the dude. sarcasm in my in my okay. voice yeah but it's a it's a matter of and this is where i i have the problem what what are we going to accomplish with this because you know let's be honest i was all for mike tyson fighting roy jones jr so was i it's okay okay mm -hmm. because both of them are older fighters both of them are older men that know exactly what they're doing. They can get into the into the ring and they can go after it or they can do what they kind of did. They kind of, you know, just put on a show and that was fine. It was great to see both Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. once again in a ring boxing. But there's a huge difference between that and watching a 20 some year old person who wants to take that name of Mike Tyson and put it, mm -hmm. it it's like it's it's like a hunter he's gathering pelts and he wants that pelt that Mike Tyson is has created over all these years and everything that we all love about him we, I got one young kid who wants to take and face a guy who is nowhere near 
I mean, so far from what he was at one time. You know, and I, I was on, a, a, you know, the spinning back click with everyone at, M- at MMA Junkie, and we're talking, and I said, man, you know, the truth, you know, what what do you think would happen if you put Joe Montana on a football field? And I'm not talking against NFL players. You could put him against college players right now. He ain't going to look too good. Why? He's old. He doesn't move the same. He doesn't have the same dexterity. He doesn't have the same strength. He doesn't have the same arm speed. Nothing is the same. He's an old man. And when you become old, you you have to learn that I just can't do things the same. It's no different than you. You know, if I tell you, Josh, I want you to go back and do the same workouts that you did when you were training and you were the number one fighter in the world. Are you going to be able to do those workouts? No, you can't. It would break you down. And so you can't train as hard because you're older. So you have to train different. And then with it, not only do you have to train different, if you do get injured, you lose everything that you did much faster. And it takes you longer to try to get it back. And if you look at what it's like to try to put out high intensity energy when you're older, you can do it for a short amount of time, but you get exhausted quick. Your body doesn't react like it did when it was young. And no matter what, Mike Tyson's going to get tired in a boxing ring. He got tired with Roy Jones, Roy Jones Jr. Okay. What do you think is going to happen when he's got a young kid moving around that it's hard to hit? If this, all of this, I love Mike Tyson. I love what he represented in boxing. I love the intensity that he had, and I love what he, the presence that he brought. And when he was fighting guys, it was always, you know, how fast is he going to knock him out? Look at what he did to Michael Spinks, who had never been beaten. All these things. That's not the Mike Tyson we're going to see. And and what people are going to end up seeing is their hero losing to a guy that that can't hold his goddamn jockstrap as far as what he's done in life. One guy is, you know, and I I don't want to put Jake Paul down. I I don't. But I I hate the fact that Jake Paul continuously, continuously fights old men. It shows a weakness. Sorry. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to agree with you. I guess to, to touch on what your last moment was was, my father raised me to respect your elders, and like my dad always used to give me a little bit of that of, you know, you're not tough enough yet kind of attitude. You know, like, and but when I got to the age where I was tough enough to take that, yeah the respect should have been built into you by now, not to even think about taking that from your father. And I've looked at every elderly man and as well as one, a woman and women to say, I, whatever I can do to like, I go to this, I go to this, to, to this length. I was with my daughter yesterday. She's five and we're riding on, she's riding the scooter and my son's riding the bike and we're driving, you know, we're on the sidewalk in our community. And there's an older lady with her, uh, her other daughter who's or with her daughter, who's probably like, I'd say maybe, you know, late twenties. And the older lady's probably like in her sixties. And I make sure that I go out of my way to tell my daughter that you need to make sure that you ride on your side of the sidewalk or let's do something a little bit better. Let's stop as they walk by. The last thing you need is for that older person for you to kind of lean into them or for them to maybe think that you're leaning into them. And then they trip, they fall, they get hurt, whatever it is. We go out. I sh- I've always tried to make sure that I go out of my way to make sure that elderly people feel safe. They feel secure around, not just me, but about whoever I'm with. This to me is one of those things where I don't know how he was raised, but this, I feel like it has to do with something to do with the family atmosphere this shouldn't even be happening. This fight. It, like when I looked at, I agree with you, the Roy Jones and Mike Tyson fight was two, two older guys going in there to fight each other, no with respect it. each other. Yep. They understood this. 
I would even go as far as say, like, even with the Anderson Silva fight, I was like, okay, maybe I'm okay with it because Anderson was still active, still training, still. Mike's been training here and there. I mean, he looked great in Riyadh. I saw him in Riyadh. He'd been training here and there. He looked like he's leaned out. He looks like he understands, you know, where he's going with this. I get it, but like you said, at 45 years old, it's not the same anymore. We, it, you don't take the shots like you do. You definitely can't push the pace. You're definitely at 57. Yeah, he's going to be 58. You definitely don't you take. Can't him at push the pace like you used to. I mean, no. there's just a lot, man. There's a lot of things to consider. You have a young guy who's in his prime, making his way up. What what are you looking to accomplish outside of just money? Saying you beat Mike Tyson, but you didn't beat Mike Tyson. You didn't beat Mike that's Tyson. The point, that's the point that I think you're getting at. But I'm looking at it more from a more from I don't want to say it's it's a it's a respect thing. Learn how to respect no, the is. people that came before you. And this is just blatant disrespect. And the fact that Mike was just entertained this, I want to know why. Yeah. I, I don't understand why. I mean, like, I don't think it's a money thing. I don't think it's that, you know. Um, but why? I, I don't get it. There's not there's nothing to gain from this. Do you want to challenge yourself? Well, challenge yourself against somebody else. I mean, that's that's around your age or maybe a little bit younger. Challenge yourself against somebody like that. I mean, there's plenty of those guys out there. Plenty of them. You know, I just yeah. I don't see it. I don't understand it. And I, I don't I don't respect Jake Paul for this at all. I don't. Not at all. And so it's, it's, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to say like without calling them, cause I get it. There's money involved. It is a promotion thing. The two of you guys obviously decided to sign on the dotted line to make this fight happen. But if, if I'm at home and I'm going like, and you're my son, I'm not really, I'm not really condoning this. I'm not really like, I'm not really like your cheerleader on the side going, yeah, you're beating up the old guy. The guy that kind of laid the, the, the pavement for you to get to walk on in the boxing world. Like he's, he's a legend in the sport, man. People still are going to get up and tune in to watch them fight because of this. I'm, I'm going to lose a fan. Like if you, if you put it on him, I'm going to lose respect for you even more. Yeah. I mean, you're already kind of lost. respect, And not just me. I know there's countless people out there that I've just had in people sent this to me. I get, when this came out, it was an announcement. I had probably close to 20 to 30 people texted to me going, what the fuck's Mike doing? Yeah. Why and, and a couple, several of them said like, why would this kid even want to fight him? They don't know who he is, or they know him through their kids. Why would this kid yeah. even want to fight him? Why? It's just very disrespectful to do this. I, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe it's a, uh, it's maybe it's cash grab for both. I don't know, but it is what it is. Uh, the fight uh, you know, you know, you remember when Vitor Belfort was supposed to fight uh, Oscar De La Hoya. You know, and, and that one is one where you know, you got to figure there is a size difference for Vitor, but Vitor had to get down to a certain thing. And, and Oscar was, you know, up in weight comparatively, and he was getting himself into to shape for it. And you looked and you go, eh, Oscar's a little bit older than him. And, okay. You know, and then Oscar pulled out because he got COVID. Mm -hmm. And they bring in Evander Holyfield, you know, and Evander was much older, you know, 53 years of age, I want to say at the time that he did it somewhere in there, 52, 53, and, you know, Vitor's 40, 41. Mm -hmm. At least that's closer. And I still hated it, you know, and, and Vitor Belfort, it was a fantastic mixed martial artist. He was a fantastic fighter and not on his best fucking day. Could he have come close to beating Evander Holyfield when Evander was in his prime, mm -hmm. but Years go by, you're 50 some years of age. Vander, you know, first off, he got hit by stuff that put him down that you look and you go, it wasn't that hard, but you can't take a shot. Yeah. You know, and you just look and you go, man, why is it that we have to do this to our heroes? Why do we have to see them fall? There's no reason for it. You know, Mike Tyson is beloved throughout the combat sports world. I don't know a whole lot of people that don't like him. People that meet him, love him because he's fun to be around. He's got a good sense of humor. You know, he talks good about everyone for the most part, as far as they're fighting. And he's always building guys up about, oh, he's so good and stuff. You know, why? It's just, it doesn't need to happen and it shouldn't happen. In, and if Mike's doing it for money, hey, I, I understand. But 
to see. I, I'm not. I'm being honest. I will not watch it. I'll watch it eventually, but I'm not gonna. You know, I won't pay for it. I won't do that because I can't do that and act like you know I am right now and say, oh, but I'll watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. The, I can't. The only shining. I don't want. I don't want to see what's gonna happen. The only shining light that I have of this is that I was told at the Triller fight when John when uh, John Jones. When uh, Mike Tyson <laughs> fought Roy Jones, Roy Jones was yeah. that Tyson really just started trying to go to the body because he saw that Roy was really tired. Yeah, and so he didn't try to finish. He didn't try to knock him out. He just kept trying to work no. the body. Just kept and why? A lot of mutual respect. Respect, absolutely. Okay, but that's my one hope is that look. I know it's been what three or four years removed now. It was around the COVID time, 2020, 2021 is when that Triller thing went off. My thought is, is that during that time, I, if he's been training, he's been getting better, not getting better, but in terms of he's getting himself physically in shape, you know, he's always had the punching power. He's always had yeah, the ability never, to touch someone's body, but he, he doesn't have the speed of it, movement it, it, not and the ability close. to take a big shot. So, definitely not. So it's the, so it's not only the ability to get that power on target. It's also the ability to take mm -hmm what's coming back the other way. What Mike could walk through when he was 35 years of age, he can't walk through now. No. And let's go back and look at Jake Paul when he wasn't as refined as he is now as bo at boxing, he was able to knock out Tyron Woodley. And Tyron Woodley was not someone that was easy to finish. No. And so and Tyron Woodley's not 50-something years old. Yeah, Tyron Woodley's got power. So when you look at the two of them comparative. Now I know that Tyron Woodley is not the greatest stand-up guy. Mike Tyson being known for his boxing, obviously world-class level, but also you're talking 15 years away from where he should be. So we're going to find out though. And we're going to see if there's any special rules, if there's not, but we're going to find it all out. We'll see what happens when it happens.